Welcome to your Core Express. You don't need any equipment for this workout. This workout is seven minutes long. Let's take a nice deep breath in here and just let it go. Let's warm up through our core. Three belly breaths, breathing in. Let everything expand. Then as you exhale, think pelvic floor, belly, engage. Feel like you're wrapping your torso with a scarf. Breathe in, let everything expand. Then exhale, pelvic floor and engage, wrap through your torso. Got one more to go. Breathe in, expand. Exhale, engage and then wrap your deep abdominals around your torso. So good. And then release. Next up, side planks. All right, let's get into this. Make your way onto your side for side plank. Elbow under the shoulder, 40 seconds. Let's go. Reach your arm up, kick your leg out. Good. Really working into the obliques here. So your waist muscles. You can stay high or you can lift like this. Halfway. Press down into that bottom elbow to really get that lift up. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're staying here. Same thing, side plank, just a variation. Let's go up and now elbow towards the knee. You can stay up like this or at any point you can lower your hips down to the ground and keep the arm and leg moving. You shouldn't feel any pain in that lower shoulder. If you are, I need you to stop. Halfway. Good. Remember, you can drop that bottom hip at any point, just like this. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's swap over to the other side. Ready and go. Up and down. Beautiful. So you're working into that glute as well. It's a body muscle. Keep your jaw relaxed and try not to clench through that fist. Halfway. Ten seconds to go. You're doing so well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Last one. Staying here. Let's do this. Go. Elbow to knee. When you extend out, really press that hip up nice and high if you're lifting it. Halfway. Remember, you can always drop that bottom hip. Keep breathing here. 10 seconds to go. So good. For three, two, and one. Nice work. Up next, heel taps. All right, let's roll your weight onto your back. Lift one knee in towards your chest. 40 seconds. Let's go. Lengthening the leg out long. So it's just that same leg. The longer you lengthen it, the harder this will be. If you can, hover it just above the ground or just lightly tap the heel to the ground. The more you draw that other knee to your chest, 
the easier this will be. For three, two, and one, release, rock those knees from side to side. We've got the other side to go. Let's do this, lengthen and in. Good, 40 seconds to go. Really think about connection through your core with this. So your lift of your pelvic floor and your deep abdominals wrapping around your torso. Halfway. Ten seconds to go. Keep your shoulders relaxed and away from your ears. Three, two, and one break. Perfect. Let's roll our way up and over into all fours. Opposite arm, opposite leg and pulse here. A little squeeze into that glute. Pull your shoulder back and down. Watch you're not locking out through that standing elbow. Halfway here. Doing really, really well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. <sighs> Let's go to the other side now. Lengthen and pulse. Notice your shoulders here. They'll want to creep up. Do not let them. Halfway. So we're strengthening through the back and through the core here. You've got 10 seconds left. It's a good glute exercise. Strengthens your hamstrings and through the back of your shoulders. For three, two, and one. Release and stretch back. Good work. Well done. That's your workout complete. I'd recommend you go and do a stretch session now. For more videos just like this, visit productive.com.